welcome back to the channel today i am going to make uh, the bathymetric map uh, it is generally used to measure the depth of the lake uh, using the gis uh, first you have to uh, the you have you should have the depth um, value of that lake so we'll follow this step to make the uh, bathymetric lake and we will measure the volume of it so first of all add the xy data which should be in the csv so we have already convert that so in the z value use the depth value and here for the coordinate system we have to use with uh, geographic coordinate system wgs 1984 so put that so change the coordinate system here so you can click here ok so these are the uh, depth value which we have measured in the field you can change the color or size as well so for the next, uh, we'll go with the cringing, uh, which is under the special analyst too. You can search easily. So first, uh, prepare the cringing map. Now put that CSP file here. And change the z value with the depth which is under the z and you can put uh, the output file where you want to save that and you can save that on the default as well So here you can click OK now. You will get the creaking map here. Now clip this feature or you can do the extract by marks as well. Put that recent feature there and input the save file of the lake. Make output name and then you can save and do OK. So here you get the clip file, you can change the color ramp here, you can change that and later as well. You can see the dark blue with the high depth. So now you have to create the tin file, go on the source bar and tap there to create tin so here you see they're creating a tin again for that and here you have to use the csv file with the depth value so that's all and you can click the ok now 
so you will see this type of map after creating a tin file now you can clip this file here as well or you can clip this on later one so i have already made a clip here i have already saw how to clip the feature so i i have done the fast forward with the color changing on the color ramp as well so now um you have to change the tin file with the the raster file so go on the source bar and you can type dear tin to raster file so in order to uh, evaluate the volume or measure the volume of the lake first you have to change on the raster so other you can put that as it is So here you get the raster map. Uh, so here again you have to clip this feature. So follow the same process as beginning for the clip. Put that the recent file and the input and for the output use the lake save file and click on that both and okay so you can change the color ramp here so now this is the final map of the bathymetric lake now you can measure the volume of this lake so here you can see the high value with the tube um, so search the surface volume so here again put that the recent file and for the plane height i have used here 10 and z factor as it is and you can click there okay so now you will see the volume of the lake with the area as well so in this way you get uh, measure the volume of the lake with the bathymetric application with the spatial analyst tool so now you can put the contour as well here in the lake so sort the contour and you can make the contour interval as per the lake size and the elevation So I have used the contour interval of the three. Now you will see here contour and change the color. You can label the feature as well of the contour interval. So this is the uh, final step. So hope you like this video and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.